Okay, so I'm going to do this video, which is not really an Ask Her Snowy, but it kind of is. Um, and it deals with me telling folks to check out our Discord, right? Because I tell people to do that, and there's a reason for it, right? Um, also, I'm, I'm testing out this old microphone. So if it sounds a little muffled or weird or um, rich or whatever the case may be, it is due to it being fairly old. And I do need an upgraded one that is a lot better than working on that, right? But this is Discord. And for folks who've never used it, basically it's just a platform that allows you to post pictures, links to videos. You're able to have dialogues together. I have it programmed to where I can have games that will pop up and we can do trivia and different things like that. It's pretty cool, and I've been adding to this list of different channels over here. These are different channels over here that have nothing to do with her snowy. This is our thing right here. We have one for Minecraft, which is Minecraft's own little thing. But on our channel, what we have is a few different things, right? First, what you're going to see is um, the Hershnoe uh, YouTube videos. So this is where I post all of the videos that we do. Just so that if folks uh, were to miss it or something like that, they can go here and they can pretty much find the video. Or I can tell them, you know, hey, this is where to get it. Or I can easily get it. This, to me, is easier to navigate than going through YouTube and trying to find it. Just personally, it's just a lot easier for me to be able to do that, right? Uh, rules of Hershnoe is right here, and so this is going to tell you all of the do's and don'ts, <laughs> right? And so this is great so that we can prevent problems. Um, Tacoma Seattle News, this is just the stuff that's going on here that we post. Um, and what you're seeing is a lot of stuff mainly from me, but you do see stuff from other people. Uh, who are a part of the channel. But a lot of this is going to be for me because I live here. Um, but you will have folks occasionally who will post different things. Uh, this is going to be Blasian Family and Family Life. This right here is just basically pictures of different things, different people, different posts um, that are there. A lot of this is of my family, but other people too. The best memes, this is one of the ones that's really, I like this one. Because we're able to post funny memes and try to have people laugh and, and uh, have a good day, that type of thing. You see different people post different types of things, right? So it's really, really cool. Uh, our garden, you see folks here posting different things about what they've done as far as their garden, uh, different things that they grow. Uh, this year, obviously, we... Um, grew a lot of different things, but now the weather is changing, so we obviously can't do uh, a lot of stuff here in this area here, right? Photos and videos of the Puget Sound. This is where folks can just post pictures that they really and truly like about the area. Uh, sometimes it um, doesn't even have to be here in Tacoma. It can be other places, but um, typically if you visited the area and you want to share your photos, you can post them here. I posted it this on Halloween night, and this is not a filter, by the way. General discussion is just any type of topic whatsoever. We talk about everything here. Latest conversation was about uh, the best burger place here. We talked about Dick's, which is mainly throughout Seattle. Uh, the closest one to us is in Kent. There's none in Tacoma, but we do have Frisco Freeze, which some argue is better. So, yeah, it just depends. Netflix and Hulu, Amazon Prime, this is just uh, various different shows that we're watching right now, things that we think is funny or a cool show or what have you, and just, we have pretty good discussions here. Ask Hirsch uh typically folks will post stuff here uh, and talk about everything that needs to happen, um, you know, in terms of videos that I do, like, hey, could you can consider doing this, could you consider doing that, that type of stuff. So I get a lot of information. It seems like I've missed some things, so I need to, to jump on it. Uh, COVID stuff is here. Uh, pottery stuff, anytime we've done some pottery that we think is pretty cool, we will post it here. Um, cooking and food, anything that folks make, 
that looks amazing. All of the stuff looks amazing. We post it here. Uh, sometimes recipes. Now, this is what I made, the banana bread with the twist. Oh, it was so good. I'm not bragging, but that was so darn good. But anyway, anyway, um, this is where folks will post the stuff that they have. Now, Noelle should have posted what she made last night. It was amazing. Selfies. Folks will post either selfies of their own. My guy here got some uh, buzz balls, which folks have been wanting us to do another buzz ball video. We will definitely do but this is where folks will post pictures about themselves their family what have you and it's always a great place to go just to you know see other people's lives and other parts of the country and parts of the world game time put this here because this is discussion about video games different things um, deep conversations this one here is where we get into a lot of deep discussions that really you can't discuss too much on YouTube so this is where we go and we post stuff and we talk about different issues and topics, right? It does get heated in here sometimes, but it's all in good fun. We all love each other, um, and it's good to have a different point of view. Music and tunes, people post different things. Stuff I He taught me some stuff I didn't even know about in terms of balance music, but uh, there's a lot of different things here that you can go through. Post uh, videos that you really and truly like um and stuff like that beer and wine this is the newest one i need to update this and add some stuff but as you can tell november 2nd of this year is when i first started posting on this so this is fairly new but i will keep adding to this as we go one area i did miss was downtown tacoma and neighborhood map out of all of this that i discussed and the reason for that is is when people ask me where would be a good place to live in tacoma I tell them come to this particular map because it's very important. So I'm going to go over this first and then I'm going to go over the map of Tacoma uh, and it's going to make a whole lot more sense, right? Um, so one of the cool things is, oh, I thought I had it pulled up. Huh, let's see. So I don't, I don't want to have too many things open at one time because then it creates an issue. Regardless, let's go here. So this is Tacoma. Okay, so Tacoma's are about in this general area. And uh, when I tell folks that Tacoma's fairly big, it gives you a general idea. We're starting to narrow in on streets. <laughs> so Tacoma is not really a small city. Okay, um, if I were to... do this so this gives you an idea right this is roughly the city oh, that's not true because some of this is going to be lakewood and all of that and um this is very rough okay very rough some of this is uh, university place to fur crest is up in here but th just a general idea Okay, general, general, basic, general idea. If you were here, you probably wouldn't know much of a difference, right? So this is roughly Tacoma. Now, is it an exact science? No, it's not. It's not. I'm telling you that right now. It's not. That's roughly kind of Tacoma. Some of this is going to be some of the suburbs of, like I said, the Furcrest is going to be up in here. University places in here. Uh, down here is going to be some Lakewood area. Over down in this area here is going to be some Parkland area and Spanaway. So some of this is not going to be exactly uh, Tacoma, and some of this over here is not going to exactly be Tacoma, but you get a general idea. Okay, this right here is Puyallup. This is actually South uh, South Hill Mall which is right there, and then Puyallup is right about here, okay? Gives you a little bit of an idea. Um, and then Fife is like right in here, right? One of the best telltale signs is this is the interstate, I-5. It runs straight through here, and Fife is right around in here, right? Right in through this area. So this is downtown. This is the massive port. When I talk about the port, this is what I'm talking about. 
to give you a little bit of an idea, um, this, let me use this deal. Or actually, I've never used this tool before. Sorry, somebody in their car is just coming by being a little loud. This right here is roughly downtown. So again, it's not going to be an exactness because it's hard to work with these tools. This is downtown. And hold on one second. Hello, Pinky Panda. Yes, ma'am. No, not at all. Not at all. She's actually on her way there now. <laughs> so no problem. Right, right. <laughs> oh, no, no, not at all. Not at all. You're good to go. All right, no problem. Okay, folks, sorry about that. Had a business call, so I want to take care of that. Um, all right, have to send a message to um, Noel real quick. So anyway, so this is roughly downtown in that section you see right there, okay? Now, that's not exactly accurate to a, to a huge degree. I know a lot of people are going to complain, that's not correct because this is... But in downtown, there are many different neighborhoods that are part of downtown. Okay? I'm going to pull up another piece of software that goes into detail, but when I say live downtown, there's a reason. Okay? Uh, first, let's take a look, and this is the what's considered to be the Dome District. So, the Dome District would technically be from here over to about here. So all of this is considered to be the Dome District, which is the Tacoma Dome's right there. And Freight House Square, let me get this out of the way. Freight House Square is this big, giant, long building. This is where the Painting Pan, the Pottery Studio is. We're actually in this section of the building. This is the transit hub for Tacoma. So basically, Amtrak, when it starts back up, is located here. You also have Sounder commuter trains, which go all the way up into Seattle. Right here, so this is the massive parking garage we talk about. There's two of them. They're about seven floors, seven to eight floors tall. Right here, this little section right here that I'm about to mark is our bus terminal. So city buses will basically be right in here. So, as you can see, bus hub, large parking garage, taxi area right in here, uh, Greyhound right in here. This is where the train system is, Amtrak as well as Sounder commuter train. And then right here oops, is the Tacoma Link station. So this is one of the stations for the Tacoma Link light rail. And you can look, and there's one of the trains right there. So this area here is a major transit hub for the entire South Sound region, okay? Now, there is also another Sounder station in Tacoma, but it's further south. If uh, once we get the rail connecting us all the way up to Seattle, which Seattle is right there. So this is Seattle. So right now, there's rail that connects you right here, which is the airport, SeaTac Airport and SeaTac. So the station stops, the last stop is like right in here roughly, okay? But what they've been working on is building line all the way down to here, which this is Federal Way. 
Federal Way is a King County suburb, okay? Uh, if you tell people that basically it is um, uh, a suburb of Tacoma, people get upset. They don't like that. They don't want to hear it. But technically, it can go either way. It's literally right next door to uh, Tacoma. Okay? It just is. Um, and I turned on all the information, but this tells you this is Federal Way. Because I will have people do their own Federal Way. But this is Federal Way right here. Okay, Tacoma's right here. Um, so right now they're building the light rail line connecting the airport right here. Okay, all the way down to Federal Way. So it's almost to Tacoma. Then in a few more years it's going to connect all the way into Tacoma. And one of the places it's going to build a station on top of is potentially right here. They would tear down the whole building and build a huge station, and that will be where the big, long, regional light rail train system going every 10 minutes will be, okay? Um, they will either build it here, build it here. Uh, there's talk about building it here <laughs> or knocking this building down and building it here. Regardless, it's going to be the light rail train station that will get you to Seattle that will rise every 10 minutes is going to be somewhere in this general area, literally. Because there's talk that it could even be on this street here. So in this general area will be where the light rail station is. This is where everything is. So when I tell people that if you want to have a place to... Uh, live, choose downtown because the light rail system will take you. This is the track of the light rail system. I'll actually draw it out for you. I've done it before. I've done it so many times. Light rail station is actually here. Tracks go here. All the way up to here and it turns. So this gives folks a little bit of an idea and perspective. Okay. Right in this general area here is the University of Washington, Tacoma. This right here, over here, is going to be the museum campus. So the museum district is right in here. A bunch of museums. Let me continue. Right here is the massive hotel that was recently completed, and the convention center is right there. Light rail track still continues all the way up. And it literally stops right here as of right now. Okay? So this is how the current light rail system in Tacoma, which is called Tacoma Link, this is what it looks like. It's about 1.8 miles. This is where it stops. Okay? So it's cutting through a few different neighborhoods of downtown. Right? When I say that Amazon, which there's news of Amazon in the news again about Tacoma, all of these are parking lots. All of this is parking lots. Parking lots here, all right here, and this is one of the main roads in downtown Tacoma. This makes a lot of sense if Amazon wanted to build. They have plenty of room. Likewise, down here on the waterfront, they have a lot of space as well. Okay. When I talk about the museum campus, this is the Tacoma Art Museum right here. So it's right there. And then the, or no, I'm sorry, that's not the art museum. That's an apartment building. The Tacoma Art Museum is right here. That's the Tacoma Art Museum. This right here is the Washington State Museum. Will it let me do it or no? It's not going to let me do it. I wanted to touch it, but it's not going to let me since I have this. Um, so that's the Washington State Museum. The Museum of Glass is right here. One of the, this is a pretty cool little uh, promenade. They do stuff there. Right here is the Children's Museum. It's in that building there. And then the, let me see if I can find it. It's hard for me to find it. Foss Museum, Water Museum is right there. I'm sure I'm missing another one. That's why we have so much museums. Is right in this general area is quite a few museums. Okay, and then of course right across the street is 
University of Washington. Now, the Tacoma Town Center Mall is right here. This general area is where the Tacoma Town Center Mall is. Okay? Right over here is all the university. The university goes up to here. They own all of that, mostly. Okay? That's all the University of Washington Tacoma. Right here is the Tacoma Town Center, so it's really right next door to it. Um, and then right here is Brewery Blocks. Brewery Blocks is right in this general area here. So this whole section, when I talk about brewery blocks, is right here. Okay? One of my favorite places to go in the city, <laughs> obviously, is McMinimins, which is right here. So you can get off the transit station here and walk up. It's not far at all. But Tacoma Link is actually expanding. So it's going to continue to go up this way here. And let me find where it goes. Yeah. I believe I'm correct. This is division. And I want to be wrong. I think I'm right when I do this. I think this is the road I want. I believe I'm correct. Or am I wrong? Yep. So this is Wright Park, which is a very nice park, huge. It's right there in downtown, very big. You can tell the size. It's huge. It's a big, 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 big open space. This right here is Martin Luther King Way. And now what we're doing is we're cutting into the hilltop area. I believe it stops right here. I believe. I could be wrong. It stops right by 19th Street. If not, it goes here. I think that is it. Along through here, if I did my calculations correct, and I probably didn't, is our hospital campus. So all of this is hospital. So this is our mile uh, miles of hospitals. We have hospitals there. We have hospitals down here. I believe it stops there. Yeah. So this is all our hospitals. Not all of them, but a big section of hospitals are there. Along this section, this is where housing development is going to go up. Already, um, the cause development is building right here. So this is this area here is Hilltop. Okay, this is Hilltop. We've done videos there. This is Hilltop. One of the areas that is very prime for development because it's so close to downtown. And this is the new... Tacoma Link light rail system. This is where it's going to go. Okay. As you can tell, it basically is just a downtown transit system. Right? That's what it's going to look like. Um, so, yeah, because that's part of the hospital system. This right here is 19th Street. Eventually, the system will go along this road here. This is many, many years later. I'll be an older gentleman at that point. <laughs> it's going to go all the way out to here and stop here. And this is where you have the community college, uh, Tacoma Community College is right about there. Okay? That's going to be a long time from now. So it's going to literally run up through the middle of that part of the city. Okay, so it's going to go all the way that way. But Tacoma still extends way down through here. And in fact, this road here is Pacific Avenue, one of the busiest roads. And this is where the BRT system is going to run. So the bus rapid transit system is going to run all the way from Spanaway all the way down, which is a suburb, Spanaway, Parkland, Midland. And then it's going to run through Tacoma. It's going to connect down here at the Tacoma Dome area and then go into downtown. So it will then connect this busy section of road. So as you can see, you're down in Spanaway, all of the farm area, JBLM, the military base is over there. Microsoft is over in this general area. Recently, they had a small office that they located. This is in Lakewood. Um, and so Microsoft put a small office there. 
to uh, capture a lot of the military folks. And then the potential for Amazon and Microsoft to come here has been heightened recently because of all of the development that's going on. And so let's go to now, oh, Brown's Point, before we leave this. Brown's Point is right in this general area right here. So let me clear that out. This right here is Brown's Point. Um, I'm including some water, okay? And this is not an exact science. This is a neighborhood of Tacoma. So when people say, how do you get there? Is it far away? It's just right here on the tip. This tip right here is Ruston, Point Ruston. So this is the second largest park in the U.S., only second to Central Park. Big, huge, wooded, forested area. This is the zoo right here. This is Dunes Peninsula. If you zoom in, if it's completed on here, yeah. They were still working on it at the time. This is Dunes Peninsula. It's an amazing area. You have your, uh, there's a huge uh, marina there. Uh, this is one of the big giant bridges that they made to connect over. So it goes from Dunes Peninsula over to here. If you're a runner, this is a runner's paradise. You can run over to this bridge, go over to the zoo, go all the way up. There's tons and tons and tons of trails throughout this whole maze. You'll run across wildlife and everything. It's crazy. Um, then you can run all along the waterfront here, this right here is Point Ruston, the big development that you see, basically a mall and residences. You can literally jog all the way down through here, and this is a trail. This trail will take you all the way into downtown Tacoma, all the way up to the university, because down through the university, which I mentioned to you is right here, is what's called the Prairie Line which you can see it here. This right here is that. They, this section here is the most decorated area. So this used to be a rail track. They tore it up, and now um, there's only remnants of it. But it used to be a freight train that used to run straight through here. All of these used to be old warehouses back in the day. Some of them are still old warehouses. That used to be old warehouses that were in bad condition. And this was in the 90s when people were saying Tacoma was a bad place. And this is what they're referring to. This and other places. But anyway, the Prairie Trail runs through here. All the way through here. This section they've recently given a lot more attention to and up updated and fixed and everything else. Runs under all of this and then it goes down through here. And then, like I mentioned, cuts all the way through. All the way around here. These are those military ships that stay there. Goes all the way through here, all the way up through here. This is where a lot of the cool restaurants and stuff like that are. Uh, you have a few little rocky beaches that you can go to. Goes all the way up through here, and then this is Point Ruston. So if you want to see some outdoor exercise, this corridor here is where you see a lot of people jogging, biking, walking, that type of thing, right? A lot of exercise opportunities. Um, so this is where Browns Point is, and our favorite beach is going to be right here, okay? And I'm drawing a blank. What's it called? 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 Dash Point. Dash Point is right here. So when we say we're going to Dash Point, it's right here. Over here is Federal Way. Dash Point's right here, and then you have your Browns Point right in here, right? So for the folks who live in this area, which is a little hoity-toity, um, it's kind of hoity-toity, but people who live here, they can go to Federal Way and shop, or they can come all the way down. If you're in uh, Tacoma, it's easy to get there from downtown. What we typically do is we go right here, and we take this road, which meanders through all of the industrial stuff. This building is massive. This is a huge building. It's a warehouse. It looks... It looks fairly small, but these little tiny striations are cars. All of the new cars that come in from overseas and different places from cargo ships are parked here. Matter of fact, you can zoom in, you can see all of the new <laughs> cars. Those are all white. But new cars that come in from the cargo lines, 
this is the freight yard and Tacoma Rail, which is a local freight company that's owned by the city. This is one of their locomotives, two of their locomotives, three, four. They own this. You pay utilities here. You're going to pay into that. This is a huge building. These are truck trailers. These are trailers to ship uh, to uh, huge uh, semis. So when people say logistic jobs, I talk about this because right in this area here is going to be where you find a lot of those logistic jobs. The UPS started hiring from here and they need a ton of people uh, to do their work. But anyway, so you take that bridge, we go through here, we cut up through here, these two roads separate, they're the same road. You go through here, you go around, you can see some of the uh, old places. This right here is where a lot of oil and stuff like that is, fuel storage, old shipping racks are through here. Cut up through here, go around, go around. It's really beautiful. You have great views of the water. You continue to go around. There's a few little small restaurants. You continue to go up through here. And what we do is we cut through this area here. So we're on the border of Browns Point and Federal Way. We cut up through here. And then we turn. I forget exactly where we turn. But anyway, we park. And then this is our... Dash Point Beach that we go to. It's really, 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 really nice. Really great beach. Okay, enough of that. Quickly, I'm going to talk about the, um, here's what I was looking for. When you go to Discord, that link that I showed you first on that talked about the Tacoma neighborhoods, this is what that is, okay? Now, again, this tells you Browns Point. This is where we just were. If you click there, for example, this is a realtor's website. Now, I don't know this realtor. I've talked to them, but I don't know them, know them. And this is not advertising them. I'm not suggesting them. But this is great because it kind of tells you a general idea as to Browns Point, Northeast Tacoma. And it tells you why the neighborhood is so great. This is kind of what the houses look like. Not all, but this gives you a general idea. And it tells you some of the stuff to do, the architecture. They go into a lot of detail about the area, right? So, and then this is the beach. So it's great, right? It's great. Um, going back, downtown, as I mentioned, is this general area right in here, okay? So if you click this, where U University of Washington Tacoma is, is also called Hillside. If you click that, this kind of tells you, this is on the border of uh, University of Washington Tacoma and Hilltop. And so you have Hillside. And you have great views because you can literally see, if you get the right apartment, you can literally see pretty far out. You can see the mountain, you can see downtown, all of that. Because you're just sitting up really on a hillside. This is kind of what you're going to see. Not a lot of houses. You have more apartments, but every now and again, you will find a house. You're going to be paying some money. Okay? So you do have condos. You have things like that in that general area. Okay? Uh, this right here is Hilltop. You see that gigantic square? I was telling you guys, it's a huge area, Hilltop. It tells you about the, the median price for homes right? This shows you the main area of Hilltop. This area is being gentrified very quickly, right? So this shows you Hilltop, what it looks like, just different things about Hilltop. They have all different types of, now they're having craft cocktail places, vegan food, different things. In fact, there's a burger company, burger chain that is located in Portland that is wanting to uh, expand into Tacoma. They want to be here like right now. Um, and it's called Killer Burger. And so they're wanting to locate, if they can, right in Hilltop. It should be coming uh, probably next year, 2021. So you're going to, in Hilltop, you're going to have mostly a lot of residential houses. Um, and this is kind of the general feel. But... They are also starting to build up Hilltop. As I mentioned, Cos Developments adding an apartment building there. There's a few that you will see there as well uh, in Hilltop. Okay. 
when we get into then you have downtown and it kind of just tells you this is where this price i don't think that's correct to be honest with you uh oh and i forgot the car museum i said there's museums i mentioned here or miss the car museum duh is right here so here's the car museum the tacoma dome's right over in this general area and then you have the state museum right there but anyway this right here is where McMinimins is, obviously downtown. This is where the bars and stuff like that are. Busy, busy area. You'll see stuff like this there. Um, so, yeah, this is where uh, the – and and I had it up at the very beginning of the page, but when I started doing this, this video of the very tall, tall building, it's the Washington Bank building. I forget the real name. That's going to be um, nothing but apartments. So that's true city living. St. Helens is a neighborhood right in the downtown. This is where we go to Opera Alley and all of those places. You're going to be paying a lot more. This is kind of a, a hippie, uh, art, you know, artist type of place, in my opinion. Um, that price is probably right and probably a little bit more. Still downtown, but you're kind of in more of a, a chic, hippie type area. Again, McMinniman still butts into this. It's a very large LGBTQ community in that general area. Um, and, yeah, so this is what you're going to see in terms of that. Not a lot of houses. So if you're looking for houses, this is not going to be the area. You're going to find a lot of apartments and condos, not a lot of houses in the St. Helens area. So this is still downtown. Old Town. Old Town has a lot of old money. <laughs> As you can see, if someone says, I live in Old Town, they got money. Because look at the median price, 655000 As you've seen, the other, the other areas were in the threes for average. Average price here is $655,000. And so this kind of gives you what you're looking at. You're going to have, depending on where you are, uh, there will be houses that are kind of elevated, so you'll get great views of the water. Um, and others, maybe not, but this is this is where you people typically do fairly well. Fairly well. And you get, depending upon where you are, you're able to see different parts of downtown, Mount Rainier. You're able to see. So when people say, can you see the mountain? Yeah, you can. Um, so, yeah, Old Town has got old money. It's just simple as that. Um, there's three bridges. Proctor, it's another hoity-toity. I'm sorry, but it is. Uh, it's got a lot of everything. Um, a lot of the chic places, chic shops, uh, stuff like that. Farmer's Market, historic homes right in here. Proctor, 507000 the average price of four homes. Uh, I can believe that. It has its own little mini downtown Um and so this is kind of what you're going to get. Very uh, hoity-toity. I'm sorry. It just is. I don't know how else to say it. It is. It really and truly is. Uh, great area, though. North Tacoma, big area. That's going to encompass a lot of different places. And then, of course, Ruston we've talked about. This is the city of Ruston more so. But it also includes part of Tacoma in this, the way that she did it. 472 on average, um, and so this is going to be some of the uh, uh, traditional homes. The city of Ruston's only one square mile. Um, it really got surrounded by Tacoma, to be honest with you. Not a lot to see there, but chances of finding a home is kind of slim. You have your West Slope here, your West End, University Place, another pretty pricey area, $450,000. Uh, this is Chambers Bay golf course uh yeah i mean it's 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 hoity-toity <laughs> so i mean it, you have great views of the water this is the uh tacoma narrows bridge so it gives you an idea tacoma narrows bridge connects you from here to here to give you an idea right um let's see hillside east side lincoln district now i didn't show you on the big map lincoln district this is our international district this is where you're going to see a lot of 
uh, restaurants that are Chinese, Vietnamese, things like that. Um, this is a great area. Houses here are not as expensive. This price is probably not accurate. I'd say it's probably at least a good ten to fifteen thousand dollars more easily. Um, but this is kind of what you're seeing. It is not. Um, some people don't like it. It's a little edgy. It's a little edgier in terms of what people are looking for. It's not hoity-toity by any means, but this is an up-and-coming area. It's definitely not a place to be afraid of. There's some people that they see other parts, they see places like Stadium District, which I'm going to next. They see this, and then they go to Lincoln District, and they're like, ooh. But this area here has got some money. This is where Stadium High School is, right? 430,000 Pretty Street Historic Homes. This is true. You'll see a lot of videos of these old Victorian houses that have been here for 100 years or more. And this house here has been here for over 100 years. So you'll see that. This is a place where, again, you need a little bit of change, um, quite a bit of change. Don't look at houses like this and think, oh, it's super affordable. You'd be fooled. Um, it's very pricey. Very pricey. Okay. Um, but yeah, this gives you a little bit of an idea. You won't see a whole lot of apartments here. However, they're changing that a little bit. They're starting to build apartments in this area. It's mostly residential homes. We went over Hilltop, 6th Avenue. I haven't been uh, doing a lot of videos on 6th Avenue. 6th Avenue is kind of another hipster place, if you will. It's a pretty cool area. If you want to go to bars, it tells you here. Restaurant scene, bar scene, this is going to be 6th Avenue. I mentioned Killer Burger. They also want to try to locate along this stretch because this is truly a, the place to go if you want to have fun. People, I, someone said that bars in Tacoma suck. I don't necessarily agree with that. It depends on where you go. Um, this is one of the areas I would suggest going to when everything starts to clear up. But this is just truly a place where if you're looking for just a cool area to hang out in, this is one of them. Uh, you will find homes and stuff like that. You don't probably get a lot of yard in this area as much you know you won't get a whole bunch of yard depends but this is kind of what you're going to expect when you get there basic stuff it's not like over the top expensive uh places these are a lot of mom and pop businesses things like that sixth avenue prices around 370 or so 380 something like that makes probably pretty good sense um, and then, of course, for folks who are looking for something that's kind of farther away, um, you do have those options, without a doubt. Excuse me. You do have those options. But keep in mind that the farther you get from downtown, the cheaper the houses, but sometimes it's not as convenient. You're not going to have as much shopping and stuff like that unless you go to the mall. The mall is in this general area here. Um, then that's a little different, but some people don't want to live in the mall area. So when I say live in downtown, this is what I'm talking about. This particular area right in here. This particular area right in here. Did my thing freeze up? Fife. Here's Fife. Some people say avoid it. I don't know. I don't know. It's a suburb. Small city. I will tell you this. It's a very congested area because the interstate runs right there. It's a very congested area um, to get anywhere. So there's Hilltop, Hillside, St. Helens. Again, we went through that. Pretty nice little area. North Slope, pretty nice area. Um, it's just basically a district. What do we have down here? South End. You're going to have a little bit more affordable houses. This price is off. I would say it's off by about 20000 But here you're going to have your, your just your basic run-of-the-mill houses. Uh, this is where you're going to find a lot of your better deals is on the south end. Now, there's some confusion because this is considered the south end. This is the south side. South Tacoma is more of an area that people want to avoid. It's right next door to Lakewood. This is where a lot of the, not all of it, it's hit and miss in certain areas, but this is where people have a little bit of concern because of crime. It, it, I'm sorry, it's just, it's, it is what it is. But the mall is over on this side, um, that type of thing. 
you do have, you know, a couple of different options for houses. Sorry. For houses and stuff like that. But be very cautious in terms of where you choose. You can find some pretty good deals, but be very cautious. Over here is a little different. I mean, there's Lincoln District. This section over here, basically the best way to explain it is there's an interstate that runs right up through here. Most people want to be on the right side of the interstate if they can. In this, in this section, below the interstate, which runs through here, this is a highway. Here and here, most folks want to stay over here or up here. <laughs> they don't want to go in this section, typically, typically. Okay, hate to be judgmental, but it is the facts. Unless you're going to University Place, that's a little bit different. Um, people typically try to avoid it. Fircrest is a generally nice area. Taxes, I hear, are very expensive there. Um, so there's that. This over here, they said that's Fife. That's not really Fife. Let's put here. Midland, Waller, Summit. They don't have a lot there, but uh, that is basically south. I don't know why they put it here. It's basically south of here. Um, so generally, this is a good map. If you want to go here and take a, check, take a look at a couple of different places, see where these cities are, see where things are, Gig Harbor, all of those. Problem with if you live over in here, these are more what I say are retirement areas, in my opinion, because it, it's difficult to get there. You know, it, it's difficult to get there. Stuff's expensive. Uh, just in general, and you have to pay every time you come into Tacoma. So here's the uh, Tacoma Narrows Bridge. Going into nothing. Coming into Tacoma, you got to pay money. So that happens every single time you come in. So that's why a lot of people have been leaving here and moving here because they don't have to deal with that toll. But anyhow, I can go on and on and on. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it explained a little bit more. Do join the Discord so that you can have up-to-date information. I can answer your questions quickly. I have a lot of people who post questions on YouTube, and I may not see it, to be honest with you. On Discord, it gives me a notification instantly. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, I will see you. Take care.